Hey everybody, I have this really awesome message from God. It's from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. He's asking us to be joyful, to be thankful. Today was a particularly rough day. I felt like the enemy was trying everything in his power to uh, make my day be awful. And I just said, you know what? On the way home, I wanted to be angry and complaining, but my verse this morning was, do not grumble about anything. So instead, I remembered the verse that says, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are beautiful, and whatsoever things are of good report, think on these things. So I started telling God, thank you. I told him, thank you for the stars and butterflies and flowers that make me so happy and horses. And um, I didn't say thank you for dogs, but I love dogs and cats are beautiful. I um, just started telling him thank you for everything. Instead of being angry and annoyed <laughs> by what was happening in my life, I decided to choose joy. Joy is a heart uh, stance. It is a position that we take. The Bible tells us the joy of the Lord is our strength. So today, I encourage you to trust the Lord and be joyful, no matter what your circumstance. Ask God to fill your heart with joy. He will. He's good. He's kind. He's faithful. And I mean, I was really, really having a bad day. I wanted to cry, I wanted to quit, I wanted to give up. And then I just changed the posture of my heart to joy. And I wasn't going to let the and refuse the enemy. I said, no, not today. I love you all so very much. Remember to be joyful today. What is that song? Um, There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be quiet. We're going to shout out your praise. So just sing praises and um, be joyful. A joyful heart is good medicine. And it can carry you through. And I wonder sometimes if God is testing us to see if we are ready to move to the next place. So maybe perhaps my response today was a test to see if I was ready to move to the next stage of what God has for me, the next season. I sure hope so. I love you and I hope that you will be kind today, lend hope where you can and share the love of Christ. I will talk to you later. I love you.